Welcome back. National Security Minister Philip Lacobinier has, has refuted suggestions that the government is moving with undue haste to repatriate the Lambert Academy students. Last week, the 60-odd Nepalese, Indian and Filipino nationals were informed that the International Organization for Migration would be assisting St. Usha in returning them to their homelands. Monday, June 8 was the date identified for the commencement of the process. However, on that day, the students were informed that the process had been suspended. Senator Lacobini explained the sudden change during an interview Tuesday. We've been doing the preparatory work, working with the police to try to see which groups we could identify and what we could do. We also approached the director of public prosecutions and said to her that we are not going to, we need your permission to do it. She has basically come back to us and said that she's unable to give us that consent to send anybody out. And so it's on a whole position. That is always what it has been. We've said that we would not do it unless she gives her consent, if she's not willing to give that consent. And it's her, her authority to do so based on her assessment of all of the circumstances. And it was never intended that everybody would have been sent out anyway. We said that those we could send out that were not needed for the prosecution of the case, we would do so. In this case, she's saying that her assessment is that she should hold in relation to all of the people. And so we've held. And Tuesday night, a female in the group gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. The pregnancy had always presented a challenge to the government. Senator Lacobine said his ministry has always been aware of the fact that assessments would have to, to be, would have to be conducted regarding those who wish not to return to their homeland. There might be instances where we feel compelled to keep somebody. For example, we have people who are pregnant here. I, I noticed that one of the migrants, for example, is very close to, to potentially having, having a child. Clearly, we need to be sympathetic, we need to be understanding, we need to factor this in. But we have to deal with it as a country. Let's the cost of keeping the foreign students, the minister revealed, has run the state in the region of $400,000 thus far. A fact, he said, contradicts the notion that the government is not meeting its obligations to the group. We have committed over $400,000 on the record. This is money that we owed for feeding and housing these migrants. So how can you say the government is not committed and the government is not doing anything? This is your country, you know. You have to be honest about the things you report and how you report them. We have spent over $400,000 in commitments. And I say commitments because we have not paid all of it. The way the government goes, you, you have a bill, you pay from time to time. We've paid some of it, the government is paying in accordance with its ability to settle these bills on a timely basis. But we have committed, we owe over $400,000 as we speak for these migrants. And we keep saying that the government is doing absolutely nothing for them. And they themselves, many of whom who know this, are parading and pretending that that is not the case because they are being orchestrated by individuals in the background, but that cannot be right for a country. It cannot be right for the country that we know these facts and we are saying things that are patently untrue on the record. Home Affairs Minister there, Victor Philip Lacobinier.